good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a lot of stuff to show off guys i mean first of all we have an epic custom that i finally pretty much finished you guys are going to see that in a second and uh, we also had some stuff that we picked up from ringside collectibles i mean we got some customs that we finished this week we got some custom belts we got freaking epic sauce all over the freaking place man so i figured why not shove it all in one video and kind of recap what we've been through here but first of all look at this right here guys it is finally here it is finally complete my custom elite jeff hardy fantasy attire Punisher face uh, my custom elite Jeff Hardy Punisher face paint fantasy attire guys my god almighty I am in love with this I love this to death um, I finally got the shirt to complete it and then I took the uh, the Rikishi Hall of Champions robe and just threw it on there I think it really completes it. I also had the sting one, but I felt like it wasn't as long like it's nice and leather and stuff But I don't it doesn't go down as far so I don't know I wasn't really feeling it as much as the uh, the Rikishi one right here I'll probably order a different one trying to get that leather look um, rather than the cloth look, but I, also the Elite Six Matt Hardy, I think, has a really epic entrance uh, jacket slash robe thing that would really work as well. But this is freaking sick nasty, guys. Look at this right here. Um, I had these two guns in my collection. I, I don't know what they're to. I think this is to the Chucky NECA, and this is to some random figure. I'm not sure. But uh, this is beautiful. I'm very satisfied with this. I love the way it came out. And uh, if you guys watched Action Figure Surgery, you saw the different things we did to it underneath. This is sort of what he would look like in his entrance. And then, of course, you know, you remove the guns, you remove the shirt. And we do have the white belt in there. I never uh, fixed his shoes. I still got to add some white or possibly some skull teeth to it. But it still looks sick AF. And that leg is still kind of loose. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to switch those out. But I really like these feet on these legs. This is so sick nasty, dude. Punisher is my favorite Marvel character. I had the idea to make this Punisher Jeff Hardy. And it just it came to life here. And I'm really excited for the way it came out. Cannot wait to see where this thing is used and what it you know does in the channel and stuff so very sweet i'm gonna go ahead and i guess just remove the guns from the hand you guys can see there's the gun and the other gun um and uh, yeah there is the the trench coat and the shirt without you know anything on it we can remove this real quick and we can take a look at what the shirt looks like or what he looks like without his t-shirt on and everything like that so if we remove the trench coat, you guys will see that it's pretty much just a regular Punisher t-shirt. And it is not Velcro. There's no Velcro on it. It's completely, you know, it's one of those Japanese t-shirts that you get from overseas that's stretchy and it's like a real t-shirt. Um, I thought about cutting the sleeves off and making it more like a grungy look, possibly, you know, cutting it so that you could see the belt. But I don't want to, like, screw it up. I may order another one and try it out or something, but... Uh, underneath the t-shirt go ahead and remove his t-shirt real quick and here's what he looks like without the t-shirt guys you can see again on wwe action figure surgery yesterday or two days ago if you guys missed that please go check that out on the channel we did sand off all of this painted it all black gave him the full black sleeves i just think this is so freaking sick i am so in love with this probably one of my favorite figures in my collection now you see the white belt, you got the baggy pants, you got the, the, I think the biggie shoes really completed, guys. I just think these look a lot better than the kick pad feet. But this Jeff Hardy is so nice, man. I love the fantasy attire Punisher face paint Jeff Hardy. And I can, again, I cannot wait to use it. So that is pretty much it, guys. Again, I did add some white streaks to the hair and white gauges. I figured that that would, you know, add to it, kind of give it more of a Jeff Hardy feel. Um, he usually gets some paint and some colors in his hair. So there it is completely in all its madness, guys. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Um, for sure, first things first in this video, I wanted to cover this Jeff Hardy real quick. And then I wanted to show you guys, of course, what we picked up from Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. And then run down, you know, other things that we picked up this week because we got so many great things. I mean, not only did we create that Punisher uh, Jeff Hardy, but we got these these custom belts from WWE underscore figure underscore artist on Instagram, guys. We got the IWGP Intercontinental Championship, and then we got the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. You can see it's perfect freaking size. It looks beautiful. It's got great details. We covered this in yesterday's video. Um, we took a closer detailed look at it if you want to go check that out, as well as some commissioned custom WWE Championship belts that I worked on. Um, if you guys would like to commission some yourselves, you can also do that. But uh, there we have my white live event attire, Finn Balor, with the IWGP Intercontinental title. Great looking championships, guys. Go definitely order some if you're interested in that. 
So not only did we get the Jeff Hardy, we got the custom belts. We also finished, you know, not only the Jeff Hardy, but we finished our Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins. And this looks fantastic. I'm very happy with this. The belt came out beautiful. Um, the knee pads and everything looked great. We covered this, you know, a few days ago when I talked about the Jeff Hardy and, you know, the starting, you know, starting on that face paint. You guys witnessed that. I still haven't penciled in the, the chest and stuff. Still got to do that. Um, I, I need to do that, like, now. But, again, I, I lost that pencil. That same pencil that I had to make my money in the bank, Seth Rollins, can't find it again. So now, I don't know what the crap I'm doing. And we also picked up this, I think it was a week ago, maybe. But I had to include it. I mean, another great custom that we just picked up. I mean, it's been like a... 2019 has just started. We're in the beginning of February. But I've already got tons of great custom figures uh, pumped out. Like, I've done a ton of... Obviously, I didn't do this Finn Balor. But this Finn Balor goes hand in hand with all the custom Finn Balors I made myself. And, of course, the Seth Rollins, the Jeff Hardy. And all the little fix-ups we've done on action figure surgery. So, 2019, already a successful year, guys. This has probably been the most customs I've done already in a full year. And we're just getting started. So, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff we're going to make. If Seth Rollins and Balor come out in sick of tires, we're going to make some more. So, that'll be nice to see. Um, here are the figures we picked up from Ringside Collectibles, guys. We got the Hasbro, you know, uh, Legend Classic figures here. We got Iron Sheik, really nice figure here. I always keep these mock. I don't open these just because I don't have really a use for them. So, we got the Iron Sheik. We got the Monster Among Men. We got Braun Strowman in here. Let's go ahead and move Iron Sheik out of the way before he Fs me all up. So we have Braun Strowman there looking pretty sweet. I think I like that head scan better than the one Mattel gave us. Maybe you can like head swap that. I'm pretty sure it's possible. I, I don't. I think somebody did it with John Cena before or Roman Reigns or Kevin Owens. Can't remember who did it, but somebody's head swapped that. So there is Braun Strowman. Um, we have Jeff Hardy. Speaking of which... We have the Jeff Hardy Hasbro flashback figure. And this head scan's pretty big. I mean, he has a massive head. But it's still a pretty cool looking figure. He's got the green gauges. He's got the purple sleeves and everything. Pretty sweet looking Hasbro figure, guys. I need to update my wall. I have, like, all the different series and all of them mock. I just, they're all up in my closet. I still have not hung them up. I need to freaking hang them up, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But uh, the last figure that we do have is my boy Zack Daddy. We got Zack Ryder. And this face scan looks nothing like Zack Ryder. I don't care if it's supposed to be flashback or what. Look at this head scan. Look at that right there. Does that look like Zack Ryder? No, and he's sort of cross-eyed there. So what are they doing, man? Come on. Sweet looking attire, though. It is a flashback Zack Ryder. It is not, obviously, a current day teaming with Kurt Hawkins Zack Ryder, but a flashback there. But still, still pretty nice nonetheless. And uh, I think that is pretty much it. You know, we had all those Hasbros. We got the custom IWGP championships. We have our customs that we worked on ourselves. And the main focus of this video, though, was to show off the Jeff Hardy in all its gloriness. Um, again, it's not fully dressed out here, but you guys saw what it looked like at the beginning of the video with the face paint, the t-shirt, and everything. I want to know your guys' thoughts on the Jeff Hardy custom as well as the rest of our pickups and everything from the past week and a half. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please, again, let me know down below what you think of the Jeff Hardy Complete and all of its gear. I also cut the finger so that he could hold those guns and sort of uh, put his finger in the, uh, the, the, on the trigger there. That way, you know, he can kill people if he needs to when he's on the way to the ring. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.